recently, so I'm 62, but I'm 51. 60 chronologically, 51 biochemically. Cool. But uh, the best, there's so many beautiful experts in longevity, but Dr. David Sinclair is, I think, one of the best. He's one of my dearest friends from Harvard. And he like took his 80-year-old father, who since he was 70, barely walked, never worked out, you know, seemed to be losing cognitive capacity, and transformed him with a couple of very simple tools that make your body stronger. He now outlifts David in the gym. He walks, I think it's two or three miles every day. His cognitive came back. But here's, here's the part you understand. I don't know if this is too complex. I'll keep it really simple. People know, most people know today, your DNA is not your destiny. Those 3.2 you know, billion letters from your father and your mother, they're like the plan. Mm. But what matters is what gets turned on and turned off, which genes get turned on and turned off. So your epigenome, which means epi means above, think of it like the piano is the plan, the piano is your genome, your DNA, the player is the epigenome. Uh, and the epigenome is affected by diet, exercise, sleep, yep. right? All the things, chemicals you're exposed to, et cetera. But there's something above that that was discovered by David Sinclair and a couple other researchers. One was a Nobel Prize winner. And that is, there are these things called sirtuins. You don't have to remember the word, but just think of them as seven master genes. These sirtuins do two things that are critical for your life. Now, you're 25? 26. 26, yep. right? So you're, you're not thinking about this very much right now. you got a mansion, and you got a young team that's fixing it up. And it, no, I'm it, obsessed. I'm thinking it, about all of it. Okay, well, I'm glad I'm you I'm trying are. to get ahead of it. Okay, I want well, to well, be 150. Smart. Most people aren't doing thinking that way when they're your age, but, but because, you're, because you're an athlete, you're thinking mm -hmm. it this way, right? Yeah, Most yeah. people don't. But check this out. Your sirtuins do two things that are sometimes in competition as you get older. First... They do, they turn on and off genes. And whether you get age older, quicker, faster, or slower, what happens to you disease-wise is which genes are turning off. You don't want certain genes turned on at a certain stage. These sirtuins affect the epigenome and shape that. They also affect inflammation, which you know as an athlete yep. is the basis of all kinds yep. of challenges. And they affect your mitochondria, which is the energy source in every cell in your body. Yep. So if you have high energy, that's strong. Well, they're the source that helps them to take food in and convert it into energy, into ATP, as I'm sure you know. So now, what else do they do? Well, they also have a competing component, because they can only do so much, which is cleaning up your DNA. So at 25, your DNA should be in great shape, but at 35, it, no matter what you do, because of exposure to radiation, et cetera, uh, your no night sleeps and things, it'll be affected a little bit. Well, by the time you're 50 or 60, mm -hmm. it's, you accumulate all this, right? Well, right at the time when you need it the most, these sirtuins have a fuel that you've probably heard of called NAD. And NAD, right, you, I'm sure you probably had an every NAD morning. infusion every or something morning. of that nature. Every morning, yeah. So NAD is wonderful, but NAD is a size molecule that, as you probably know, needs a precursor called NMN to actually get into the body. Ah. And NAD and NMN drop off the cliff in your late 40s to 50s by at least 50%. So right when you need it most, for cleaning up your DNA because of accumulation and for energy, and that's why people age. So what David Sinclair and his group did is they started with mice and they started seeing what they could do to affect those sirtuins by NED, but by going to the precursor, NMN. So you can take a mouse and you give them NMN, oh, let's, let's, you take an old mouse. An old mouse, like a 70 year old person would be like a 20 month old, 24 month old mouse. You put them on you know, a, a ramp and say, run, or give them direction run, the most they can go is usually a quarter of a kilometer. Whereas a young, powerful mouse can run four times at a full kilometer. Mm. When they give NMN directly, the precursor to NAD that affects the sirtuins, that affects everything I just told you about, right? This cascading effect. Yep. They run within 14 days, two to three kilometers, 200, 300% more than the youngest and strongest wow. ones amongst wow. them. But here's the cool thing. You go, well, Tony, that's great. I always go, yeah, my studies are great, but does it transfer to a human? Yep. So there's a company called Metro Biotech. Brilliant. They've got like 100 of some of the best longevity experts in the world. People in my book, you know, I've interviewed 150 of these people. Of the 100, 150, there's probably 80 that are on his team that they've committed. They own a piece of the company and they're working on these breakthroughs. They've worked on several products, but one of those is if you go get NMN, you should get yours checked, yep. the ones that you take. We tested six in the marketplace with David, with a lab. There was no NMN in it. I was like, I went to the lab guys. I said, are these people just cheating and lying? A lot of it comes from China. He said, sometimes people do, but it's more likely it breaks down so quickly. Like in 30 to 45 days, it's gone. You're talking about in the supply then. In the supply, like capsules oh, that you get. Because right. that's the thing that got can it. supply you ah. and give you stronger, right? right. So, this, so there is some NMN that holds up. David has yep. some of that, right? And we can talk about that. But here's what's coming. So this Metro Biotech created a synthetic form of NMN. 
Now, I told you about the mice, but will it really transfer to humans? So yep. here's what's cool. Yep. For two years, top secret, they had been working with our military, with our special forces. And about a month and a half ago in Boston, the commander got so excited, he slipped the beans. And it was just in the Daily Mail last week as well. Sick. He didn't tell all of it, and I know more because okay. I've invested in the company, and I can't tell you the exact things, but I can tell you what has been reported. What's been reported is the commander said they've had almost the identical response as they saw in the mice, meaning, first of all, the mice only get 30%. Like your NMM, you might get 30% uptake max. This NMN has brought it to three to 400% of what you have in your body, which is why it's creating. And he said, these, these are the strongest humans alive, both men and women in the special yep, forces, yep. the most fit people, right? Endurance has exploded, he oh said, very much God. like the mice. He said, secondly, muscle development has completely changed from the same <laughs> stimulus, like the same workout, they're getting more muscle. And then thirdly, the most important thing for them is cognition has gone through the roof, because when you're exhausted and you're out there in special forces, the ability to use your head is the most more valuable than your body at that point, right? Cognition. So I, the founder of this is a guy named Ed Shulock. He's actually coming here on Saturday. And Ed, he's just a genius of a guy, but Ed, he's going to show me more of what the details are, but he decided not to make this a nutraceutical. He's going through the FDA, so they're doing a parallel with the FDA. He thinks in 18 to 24 months, they should have their final phase three done, which means it would be a medication that anyone can get that is stable, so it doesn't break down. And so anyone can now start to have maximum mitochondrial power, wow. maximum turn on and off. This is less than, two, you know, you're 26, I mean, you're 28 and you have this for the rest of your life. This is about the riddle the water list, huh? No way athletes are gonna be able to use this stuff. Well, I, I don't know that they're gonna be able to block it from athletes because it's a natural substance in your body. Oh it's just maximized, gosh, right? That's insane. Yeah, so I mean, there are things like this that you'll see in the book that you go, this is crazy. So I show you what you can do right now and then I show you what you can do in the next 12 to 36 months, not 10 years from now. Uh, so you know what's coming, so you can take it down. Yep. I mean, if you walk around this house, you yeah, see- Yeah, infrared, got... infrared, infrared sauna? Of course. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yes. and, uh, we, we, in I have garage. lasers, I have a, a guy made it for me, a quarter of a million dollars, he gave it to me, but he's the best laser guy in the world. Um, you know, I'd write about in the book, Dr. Cassellini. Yeah. I have a laser bed. Yeah. Now, I used to have one of the ones that they used to make, you know, that uh, I'm trying to think of the company, but he's the guy that built the initial lasers. Just genius stuff. So, no, I use all the above. And saunas is crazy, isn't it? Yeah. The simplest yeah, yeah. thing for your audience, four days in a sauna. There's three major studies done over the Finnish people. So there's millions of people there that use the sauna all the time. And obviously, which sauna you use, you can get better results, obviously, with infrared. Yep. But it's unbelievable. If you use the sauna four days a week, think of the people unlike us who just don't work out or it's not their gig or they don't feel like they can. Yeah, yeah. They get in the sauna four days a week for 18 to 20 minutes at 160, 48% reduction in the ability of a stroke, 52% reduction in heart disease, <sighs> radical change in people's health, blood pressure. Health, I mean, there's man. these little things, like tiny things you can do that change mm -hmm. everything. I don't know, I'm sure you probably know, but like broccoli sprouts. You know broccoli sprouts, people are worried about cancer? Broccoli sprouts, there's thousand studies on them. And for women, they not only reduce your chance of cancer through the vote, but they reduce breast cancer by 80%. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, there's, oh and this is all science. This is not some airy-fairy person talking about things. It's, but most people just don't know. See,